for those who don't know, just give us quick overview of what clutch is, what problem we are talking, and we'll talk about the evolution of clutch. Yeah, the context of clutch is building application developer platforms. Um, our classic or typical customer would have hundreds or thousands of developers. So it's not about a few Kubernetes clusters, but it's still the, the fact that if you, let's say, address many different internal developer teams, that you will see a lot of Kubernetes cluster being necessary for them to, work, to manage their workloads. Now, if you have like 100, 200, 300 or more Kubernetes clusters, the question is, how possible is it to have teams that will run both applications and data services in an on-demand self-service fashion? How would you do that? So if you're a Kubernetes enthusiast, the first idea you might have would be to have Kubernetes operators and run these operators in local application clusters. And assuming that all the application teams are capable of running both database instances and database automation, in addition to their application workloads, you will be fine. But how well does this assumption scale in an organization with thousands of developers? And in our experience, it doesn't scale well. You could then argue, we need to improve on the delivery of and the quality of those operators to make them so efficient that you can still multiply the operators in the, into the application clusters. And this might be a valid assumption and a valid path, path to go. But in my experience, also from the Cloud Foundry experience, is that in large-scale environments, centralizing data service operations has several um, advantages. Especially you, you can train people to be experts on running these operators. Because running data services is much harder than running applications. So having an expert team that takes care of, let's say, a Postgres operator is, is, is very efficient. So if you do separate the operators or data service automation in general, regardless which form it has, whether it's VMs or pods or whatever, from the application developer clusters, then you have an integration issue. The first attempt would potentially be, let's use crossplane in the application cluster. But then your application cluster directly connects to the automation backend, which means in a hybrid cloud, multi-cloud scenario, or in a scenario where you consume different data service backends, like an AWS DynamoDB next to a MongoDB Enterprise, next to an N9 Postgres based on VMs, next to ADAS Postgres creating pods, how would you get a central overview for security purposes, for example, to see where data services are being consumed? So what is the connection between a data service instance and, and the application cluster or even the down to the user level, you would lose keep track of that. You'd have to build all of those management aspects, like also how to open a network path from an application cluster to uh, a VM automation of that does databases. So these things should be done automatically for you. And all you have to do is write plugins to inject your custom logic that's specific to your organization. And it, Clutch introduces exactly that. It allows you to have a remote control in your application clusters that gives you CRDs for application developers to manage the lifecycle of their data services, creating service instance, service bindings, you know, generating local secrets to be consumed by apps to access the database, triggering backups and restoring backups. While the actual heavy lifting is delegated to the automation backend. That sounds similar to Crossplane, but you have the clutch control plane in the middle that centralizes all metadata. So clutch control plane will always know which application um, clusters use, which data services. They, the, the clutch control plane is the overview where all declared state of all data service related resources is centralized. So that's an integration framework. And you can use clutch to integrate an arbitrary, arbitrary automation frameworks and you'd be utilizing Crossplane, for example, to write those integrations. So it's never Clutch versus Crossplane, but cr Clutch is, when it comes to data service automation, just simpler to solve the problem because you don't have to rebuild what we've built in Clutch. So it's basically making 
the creation of data service integration much simpler if you want to have developer self-service across a lot of Kubernetes clusters.